It's interesting that they call these handrails because there's really not much area to hold on to. You are looking at the passenger backrest on a VMAX 1700. This covers years 2009 to 2020. And in this video, I am going to show you how to install it. Here is everything that comes with the backrest kit. There are two side arms, the backrest, and the hardware consists of four small bolts, four washers, and four nuts. Those hold the backrest onto the side arms, and the four long bolts are what connects the side arms to the motorcycle. The only tools required for this job are a 13 millimeter wrench, four millimeter hex head, five millimeter hex head, and I am going to use a speed handle and a ratchet. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is remove the handrails. And we do this by using a four millimeter hex head. It's interesting that they call these handrails because there's really not much area to hold on to. And that's all there is to that. I'll remove the other side. As you can see, the motorcycle is already set up to receive the side arms of the backrest. And you can also see that the nuts are already in place, so you don't have to worry about trying to get to a nut underneath of the fender. Also, you will notice that the existing holes will just remain there with this rubber grommet that's in place. All right, the next thing we're going to do is loosely install each of the side arms. We'll do the other side. Next we are going to install the backrest into the two side arms. And we left the side arms loosely attached earlier to give us some wiggle room. Two bolts in each side and then a washer and nut on each bolt. Just hand tighten for now. I will go ahead and tighten up all four of those nuts and bolts using a 13 millimeter box end wrench and my ratchet with the five millimeter hex head. Now I will go along and tighten the other four bolts on the side arms, fully tighten those down. And that's it. It is finished. Here it is completed. As you can see, there was nothing to this project. The whole thing really only took probably five minutes if you were to do it without filming. One thing I would like to add is that Yamaha sells this on their website for $499 US dollars. 
and you can find it in other places as well. Shop around online. I can tell you that I found mine for $461 delivered to my door. Hopefully this video helps and if you like this video please subscribe, hit like, and share with others. See you next time.